Skeen was the hero in the final seconds Saturday. This afternoon, as the tournament comes down to its final games, the Rams' season is at a tipping point. Win and advance to the finals. Lose and a similar postseason fate from a year ago could be waiting. The CAA semifinals, Patriots, Rams, tip off at noon on RamsReview.com. It'll be Skeen, pass down low over to Haley, basket good. DJ Haley scores the first three points of this game. It's Burgess, Burgess fights inside, kick out to Rodriguez, he wants a three and he got it. Rodriguez three is good, Rams lead six to two. Very well. Shot up by Cornelius, falls, the high arcing floater in the lane is good. Time now, kick out goes to Skeen, Jamie wants a three, good. Jamie hits the triple. It's 10 to six, Rams. That against Drexel. Diaz drives inside, kicks out to Burgess, Brad wants a three straight away, good! That six point lead, Cam Long coming back for Mason. Long wants a three straight away, that one good. Two in a row for Cam Long, 16 to 13 the score. Mason creeps back, coming off the dribble. Doesn't know really where to go with it. Nixon will try a deep three right wing, it's good! Nixon hits it from the right side and the Rams take the lead right back. Burgess, second try, it's good! If Brad Burgess gets two shots from the same spot and misses the first, that he will come back and make the second. Now goes to Brandon. Brazell wants a three, and Brandon does get it to go this time. Yeah, 27 to 21. The lob goes to Morrison, and he jams it home. And now right wing. Back into Haley. He's all alone. Dunks it down low. Haley with a terrific jam. The Rams shooting 52%. That has propelled them to a 21 to 5 run to end the first half. And I think to hold them to 25 points in the first half, that really set the tone. You know, one thing about these guys up here with me, they are extremely competitive. And when you challenge them, they always step up. That's a dribble against Burgess. Inside the ball goes to Morrison. Haley on hand, the foul initiated, and Morrison gets it to go. He just falls to the court. We've seen him do that a number of times. Regains his speed, but the three from Long is good. They, they came out of the half, made, and they made a run. They made some shots, but that's what good teams are going to do. You know, a team like George Mason, I think they've won 16 games in a row. They're not just going to let you just roll over. They're going to come back and attack. And... Lead to seven. Skeen wants a deep three straight away. Got it. Jamie hits another triple. I never took six threes in, in one game in my life, not even in AU, but I mean, I just felt like I could knock it down and it was thinking me over, so I was just letting it fly. His spark plug, uh, Bertrand. Burgess wants a three right wing. It's good. Burgess connects from distance. 51 to 37 the score. It's matchup zone still. Cornelius finds space for a three and hits it. Pretty deep three there from Andre Cornelius. Mike Moore says this is huge for VCU fans. Uh, trouble is brewing. Burgess with the slam inside. Bradford got the ball down low and jams it home. Timeline skates wide open underneath. Layup good by Jamie Steen. 66 to 53 the score, 635 left, stolen away by Razelle. Rams are going the other way on the break. Brandon, layup, good. And the Rams will get the win. 79 to 63, VCU with an exclamation point on George Mason in the CAA semi. Uh, you know, we're, we're all motivated. Uh, we knew we had to win this game to keep our hopes alive to get the CAA championship. And, uh, you know, as a group, we just played as hard as we can and, and, and uh, stayed together the whole game. As far as uh, competitiveness, uh, you know, everybody's a fighter on our team. You know, when, when their back's against the wall, they're trying to do whatever they can to, to get out. And, and that's what we do. And that's what we're doing now in this tournament. Half, but our guys showed a great deal of resolve. We've been talking about that a lot over the last several days. No matter what, we hung in here. We hung in there. Our guys stayed together. And we kept fighting. You know, these, these teams in the CAA, they're not going to give you anything. It's too good of a league. You have to go take it from them. And I think for, for two consecutive days, we've done that now. But two's not good enough. We've got to make it three.